Hello there, everyone. Uh, Robert Blakely here, better known as Blakester. We're going to do a blog today, and we're going to talk about planting the seed. So let's get started. Hey everyone, uh, Robert Blakely here, better known as the Blakester. With today's vlog, we're going to be talking about planting the seed in your business. So if you pay close attention here, uh, right now we're off in my backyard in the garden. So we're going to cut down this little sunflower plant here. Oh no! But there's a reason that we're going to do this. There's always a method to my madness. So let's have a little bit of fun and talk about planting the seed. Hey there everyone, uh, Robert Blakely, better known as The Blakester. I want to thank you for listening in on this video blog. Um, I wanted to talk to you today about planting the seed. Uh, this is something that's very important that I believe that everybody in business should kind of pay attention to. Hopefully you'll gain some knowledge out of this and hopefully I'll plant the seed with you. Um, I had this little epiphany about doing this blog and I thought, man, what a great idea. Um, this is actually my first time ever working with sunflower seeds. Uh, it might sound a little funny. Sunflower seeds, what's that got to do with working or building your online business? It has a lot to do with it because uh, it all started literally from this one little seed. Hopefully you can see this right here. This is a sunflower seed. Now it's not the same one that I planted, obviously, because that one's in the ground. But I planted that seed and we ended up growing about eight or nine huge sunflowers that are about eight to nine feet tall. Uh, we took some of the zoomer minerals, put them into the, uh, into the soil and stuff, and they just really shot off. It was insane how, how big they grew. But my point is, is that it's a lot. You're building your business is a lot like a sunflower, right? Um, they're beautiful to look at, obviously, but you take that one seed, and next thing you know, if you go and you plant it and you water it, you nurture it right and stuff like that, next thing you know, you have all this beautiful seeds, right? So you start working your business, and you start meeting people, you start networking, you go out and you find people that need your help, right? Next thing you know, your business starts growing, right? So just because your business is growing, does that mean that you should stop? Obviously not, right? But here's the thing, right? It's, it's important, again, for you to go back to the seed terminology and knowing and understand what seeds to plant, where to plant them, and how to plant them, right? So, because you planted that seed, you have all these different seeds, now you've got your business growing, but here's the sad, hard truth of the matter. Here's how it works. It's real simple. Only a handful of these, maybe three or four, of these good-looking seeds that want to take action and don't have limited beliefs will take action underneath you, right? So instead of you worrying about all these others that aren't taking action or, oh, why don't you this, why don't you that, don't worry about those, okay? Worry about these seeds right here that will actually take action, right? Because when you work with those seeds, then they can then go and plant more seeds, right? Then their garden grows. So next thing you know, they bring some seeds into the equation, right? Right? So. But again, we go back to this cycle because unfortunately, even though they're bringing in people and there's more seeds to work with, the same thing's going to happen to them, right? So only a handful of them are going to actually go and take action. Right? Let's see if we can make sure that we can clarify here. And there's only a handful that will really take action to change our lives, right? So, what are my intentions and why am I doing this vlog? It's because I'm planting the seed with you. Um, number one, I've been waiting for Pure Leverage to launch the blogging platform for this particular blog. I can't tell you how excited I am. So, my intention is to find eight leaders. Okay, five, six, seven, eight leaders. Um, I'm not like many of your typical network marketers that you see out there. Okay? And this isn't to offend anyone, um, you know, but I like to model myself and do things a little bit differently, you know, like Chisa Dada Vitar, you see him promoting for his people. I've been doing that for a while as well. 
But people need to understand, right, that it's not all about you when you're growing your network marketing business. Okay? It's about the people that will actually take action underneath you. If you go and you help them take action, and you show them the rewards, then the longer they're going to stay with you, the longer they're going to bring more seeds into the equation that just a few more will come in involved in your circle and start working. So if you do this the right way, little by little, your business starts growing and growing and growing and growing. Next thing you know, you've got a nice, beautiful business that you built working from home and you part time. So I'm looking for, again, eight leaders, but I'm not looking for people that can't take action, okay? I'm looking for people that are looking to make a change and a difference in their lives because that's the way I work. I know the types of people that I can work with and those types of people that are gung-ho that want to make a difference in their life. So if you want to make a difference in your life, again, I'm looking for eight leaders. Once I get those eight leaders, we're going to start promoting for you. I want to find out from you what's the best time that we can get together, find out what your strengths and weaknesses are, as well as your challenges, so that we can overcome those obstacles and get you to the place that you want to be in life. So again, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like, comment, maybe even share it. Maybe it'll help change somebody's life. But I hope you go forth with some kind of seed planted in your mind. Maybe you don't feel like joining us or whatever the case may be. But hopefully this little tip here will help you to grow your business and plant the right seed. Thanks for watching, guys. Joel Terrian, thank you so much for Pure Leverage. Love, love, love you. See you at the top. Thank you.